Honoring Hispanic heritage means never forgetting where you came from. That's Dr. Dante Gonzalez's life's motto. He served as Corpus Christi Nueces County Assistant Health Director before moving over to the city's Parks and Rec Department. In this next Hispanic Heritage Month feature, Gonzalez shows us how he was hecho en Mexico or made in Mexico. My heritage is still with Mexico. Here, Dr. Dante Gonzalez was known as Pollito or Baby Chicken. He hatched in Mexico City. The epicenter of, of Mexico. Gonzalez says with pride for the home he left at 12 years old. It was 1999 when he and his family moved to the U.S. I was ready to start like a different chapter. I had just finished the sixth grade. This Pollito eventually learned English, then found his wings. When I became a U.S. citizen, it was the same day that I was graduating from high school. I was here in Corpus Christi getting my uh, citizenship, and uh, I drove back to Bloomington, Texas, where my family is, uh, so that I could graduate and walk the stage. Gonzalez later walked two more stages for his bachelor's in science from St. Mary's University and Ph.D. in neuroscience and genetics from UT Southwestern Medical Center. He then immediately flew back home to work for the city of Corpus Christi. In the last seven years, his roles were assistant director of public health and epidemiologist and public health administrator. Gonzalez helped guide this city through the COVID pandemic. One of the, the best things that I ever did there was, was making sure that we had every single resource available to us. That meant a lot of grant writing, the biggest one awarded from the state at $18 million. The money allows the city to have multiple COVID vaccination venues. We're inching more towards what, 60, 70 percent of vaccination rates, and that's what we really want. These days, Gonzalez is reshaping his mission of keeping Corpus Christi healthy. He's now the interim director of the city's Parks and Rec Department. Go out to a park. You don't need a, you don't need a mask when you're in a park, right? Be with your family and play some soccer. Go enjoy our, our basketball courts. Or play Loteria. You play Loteria, right? Oh, I definitely did this day. It's a family tradition Gonzalez shared with me, which also serves as a reminder of where their roots lie. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, there wasn't much to see because I won this round. La Estrella. And you bingo. Hey. Loteria. Loteria. <laughs> the real beauty of it is all you have to do is clear the board to start again in this game of chance and life. His brought him to Corpus, where he hopes to stay. The city to me, is, 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 it's found its place in my heart now. I'm, I'm really proud to be a, a Corpus Christi resident. For Gonzalez, the U.S. meant opportunity, and it still does. He doesn't think he would have accomplished as much as he has if his family stayed in Mexico. Now on his to-do list as interim director of Parks and Rec, he hopes to install new pet waste stations and playgrounds at various city parks. Well, looks like you had a good time doing that piece, Sierra. <laughs>